Hey, okay, let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hunt, this ain't a phone. Grind never stopping, I'm keeping it cold. Unlocking the door with the holy key. You supposed to be this close to me, and hopefully, you understand G.O.D. Maybe this cold, and I'm talking like no degrees. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of It Needed to Be Said. Today, we have a great guest joining us today. But before we get into all that, I just want to welcome you guys to and to another amazing episode. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Me and my co-host Julius Collins, man. What up, what up, hey, what up, how you up. feeling today, man? I'm good, man. I'm good. We ready to rock and roll, man. Oh, we man. got we got a special get we got a special guest for him today. And if you don't mind, could you please introduce our special guest? The one and only, the penguin man himself, Mr. Waddle, Jalen Waddle. What's going on, man? And what's happening? What's happening? Blessed is to be here, man. Thank you for coming. Thank man, you for no coming. problem. No Thank problem. Thank you, man. Thank you. It's an honor just to just to watch you each and every day to work. With you each and every day, but man, I just gotta tell you, man. It, the first time I met you, man, I just want to say that oh, this dude ugly. <laughs> <laughs> like I just, I just always wanted to tell you that. Like I know, like, like you, my teammate, and all. Like heck of a p- football player, but they always say the ugly ones be the best ones, though. That was there the point I said it to you. You're <laughs> Man, we showed you. We Yo. showed knew he was gonna be great. He's always the ugly. So, hey, he no looks fast. You know he fast. Uh, he gotta hey. be ugly. He, he gotta be great. He gotta be good I'm at something with this. But Jalen, man, thank you so much for joining the show, man. Mm-hmm. Hey, we just gotta start this show off right, man. Do you sure. think you faster than me, dog? Like, uh. like, let's just start the show hey, off man, right. Like, uh. It's not just you, though. Like, it's not just me. It's not just you. It's Raheem. Raheem. Who else? I, I mean, like, I'm the fastest on the team, so. Yeah. So it's like whoever on the team, like I mean, Rich, this Rich. is how it is. You want to know? You're number cr- seventeen, right? You want to know what's okay. crazy? You want to know what's crazy, bro? I, I'm still not on the team yet. So <laughs> technically, you are. Nah, you on the team? I have yet to play a game for the Miami Dolphins. You on? The so team. I'm. Te- I see you every day. <laughs> you see faci- I see you every day. Every day at the facility, I sit next to you and beating you there. You, you see there. a lot of guys there every day, I, but they they could be there. gone tomorrow. So technically, I'm just you not out. gonna be gone no time soon. He said you trying out still, but you number seventeen, right? I am. It was another number seventeen that thought he was faster than. That's how they always. That's how. Yeah, they but that's always a number seventeen. seventeen so always. That's a place they come right. in. Number seventeen. That, that that's a different seventeen though. So you saying you faster than that other seventeen? Yeah, yeah. If I'm faster than him, oh, man, he faster than. Let me see some. Now nah, that's water. That water. Uh, it's that water. That it makes water. you ain't know nothing. But nah, man. That water. Nah, man. Thank you for coming for real, though, man. Yeah. So we just going to straight jump into it. And I got a question for both of y'all, man. Like That transition from college to the NFL, was it the same? I, was it the same transition or was it the same mentality? What was the mentality behind it from the transition from high school to college and then college to the NFL? I ain't going to lie. Like, I don't even – I think the transition from high school to college was different because it's just – I didn't go to high school – I didn't go to college in the same state. So, you literally by yourself right. in a small town, like, football is what you're going to do 90% of the time, right? I mean, high school. You technically, I'm, I'm, yeah. you technically went to a NFL program itself, Alabama, so. Yeah, like – So, <laughs> so he was already in the league. He, he was already in the league once he went to Alabama. Yeah, so it was like a shell shock or what's called it. When I got to the league, I kind of had an idea of what it was going to be like, mm-hmm. kind of. And then when I got – it was like – it it wasn't like extremely hard because I went to Alabama. I feel like Alabama may, got me prepared for that next step. What about you, Turk? I mean, for me, man, once I left high school, man, you know, being from the South – you know, um, it was it was like flashing lights for me, dog. I was like, "Yo, I'm in Hollywood right now." Even right. though I was in, Ju- I went to JUCO first, but then once I after JUCO, I went to Oklahoma State. I was like, "Yo, I'm in Hollywood, dog." So I was like a deer in headlights, right. you know. So I mean, but I was I was very excited, you know, just just to be a part of the opportunity, you know. So. Everything came fast for me because I'm a very fast learner. You know, I, I adapted real quick to the community, the environment, and it was all up from there, man. I just, everything was fun. I had a good time in college. And if I could go back and do it all, I would say no because I feel like I've done everything that I needed to do in college. 
Yeah. You know, yeah. I had a great time. I learned a lot, a lot of experiences, and I wouldn't change it for the world. Right. Now, this old NFL bid, y'all get some serious paper, right? Right. Y'all get crazy bread. What's the what's the switch up, or is there any switch up with your friends and your family? How? Do, but yeah, not, don't even answer that question because that could be that could be detrimental nah, to one of y'all. Nah, nah. When Mother's Day or I'm something good. come around, you know what I mean? But what's the dynamic of the friendships? Do you lose friends as a result of that? If somebody asks you for some money, they'd be like, "Nah, man, I'm, I'm not playing football for you to fund whatever you want. Right. I'm playing for my family and myself to put us in a better position." Right. How do you handle that? Uh, I ain't gonna lie, like. My circle very small. Mm -hmm. Growing up, you know, I had friends. Most of my friends was my teammates, to be honest. I didn't really have that many, like, outside friends, outside of the thing. So I feel like they always kept me out of trouble growing up because they was always on the same schedule I was on. So literally all my friends from way back then, they still my friends now, still talk to me the same, still say I suck, still say everything. <laughs> That's <laughs> real. Out, like, That's real. I promise you. I can, and same thing with family. I can probably count on my hand how many times my mom told me, like, good job, or what's it called? She always say something. Right. You know, what's it called? But that's just how my family is and just how I grew up. So nothing really changed for me. But if I can lend a helping hand and it's for the, the right reasons and it's not, you know, someone trying to, you know, do me wrong or just because I can give it to them. Then I'm all for it, you know. I'm all for it. My mom always told me. I always thought it stuck with me. So it's a blessing to be a blessing. So that's right. always stuck that's with real. me. That's real. Yeah, I kind of. Amen, brother. Like for real, for real though. So it, that always stuck with me. What about you, Reed? Is that is that a hard concept to be to have to tell somebody? No. I mean, no, not not for real, man. Like once you once you begin to realize, man, that you are literally out there on that football field, sweating your ass off, you know, grinding, you know, putting everything on the line, you know, for every penny that you have deserved, mm -hmm. then it's easy to tell people no, bro. I swear, I swear it is all the time, man. Even if it's your mom, man. Yeah. Like, and I realized that, dog. Like, sometimes I had to tell my mom no, dog. Mm -hmm. And it was tough for me, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, I had to realize that I got a family that depends on me. I got kids that depend on me, mm -hmm. you know, so, and, and as far as my friends, the way I look at it is if, if I'm able to give my friends, let's say 5k each, right. I'm, I'm not doing them any good. Right. I'm basically crippling them. Right. Like, I'm, I'm not helping them. Like I'm not giving them the proper resources to go out, you know, and better themselves for the future. Mm -hmm. Cause it's easy for me to say, Hey guys, here, here here's 5k right here. Right. Boom. Easy. That's immediately crippling them. Instead of me just saying, all right, guys, put together a business plan or let's me, you, all of us put together a business plan and let's come up with like a, a let's come up with a great LLC or something mm -hmm. and let's build this business together and let's make money together. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. That's the route to go. Right. But, That's the smartest way to do it. But most guys don't do that, though. You know, most guys are like, hey, I can give y'all 5K and get y'all out of my hair right right, right then and there. But the way I was raised, man, I'm I'm here to show you how to fish. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to teach you how to fish. Right. I ain't trying to give you no fish. Right. So follow me to the river, and I'm going to show you how to fish. I'm going to show you how to build your rod. I'm going to show you how to put the bait on there, and I'm going to show you how to throw your rod out there and, and reel all the fish in. So yeah. that's the way I was taught, man. And J-Dub, man, it's, hey, I look at you every day. You got the correct values. You got the right values, man. You was raised the right way. So I see it in you, bro. Like, you was raised the right way, man. Your mama, she did a great job, my boy. I appreciate that. appreciate that for sure. Your parents. That's yeah. dope, man. That's dope. So, so, yeah, man, Um, if you don't mind me asking, man, um, since we on the subject of parents, man, mm -hmm. tell us about how you grew up. You know, um, how did you get into football? Um, who, Basically, who's your greatest inspiration? As far as like family, I'm not talking about outside yeah. role models. I'm talking about That's who's easy. your greatest inspiration. Uh, yeah, so me, I grew up southwest side of Houston, mm -hmm. um, Houston, Texas. I'm pretty much the area which you make it. You feel me? If you want to be with the wrong crowd, you can be with the wrong crowd. If you want to be, you know, stay out of trouble, mellow, you can do that. I always took the athletic route. It was a lot of um, violence and, and, and gang banging and all all the stuff in any any other hood. Right. Um, grew up, what, 
single mom, three sisters, youngest of youngest of four. Um, my dad was always in my life. He stayed on the other side of town. He was always there. Um, but yeah, I, getting into football was something that I mean everybody do. That's just something we did in the neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Right. Started with pitch up tackle, two hand touch. What's it called? It and them boys was was like I always played with older people. Like I always wanted to play with the older boys. And I like the thing in, in the hood like. You do not want to get picked up last. If you picked up last, it's oh, like, yeah. oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody no know about that being in the hood. Well, it's like, picked up last. oh, my like, goodness. Sheesh. So, I ain't going to lie. Like, getting picked up last was, like, the worst thing you could. Like, man, he wanted to play. Like, so, we was always, like, that aspect of it, like, playing with the older kids. And oh, that's when I, you feel me, playing with older kids. That's how I learned how to shake and had to, what's it called? So, it's always been part of my game and everything. But I've been playing football since, I mean. Three, four years old, so I, it's always been a part of me. Right, right. Well, the way I look at it is, man, for you, man, like I've got a chance to be around a great amount of talent, especially fast guys, right? You know, I, I feel like what really makes a fast guy different is his mindset. You know, and I like I said, I get a chance to go out and watch you practice every day. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, you're the way you approach practice, your unselfish mindset. You know, the way you are disciplined, you know, you're a very hard worker. You know, it speaks for itself, my dog. So I just got to say I commend you on that. You know, uh-huh. I've played, like I said, I've played with a lot of fast guys. Yeah. You know, and like a, like what makes a fast guy different is his mindset. You know, and that's kind of the same way I am. Like I don't make no excuses for nothing. You know, and it sounds like your mom did a fucking great job with you. With with you and your sisters, just mm-hmm. just raising you guys to don't make excuses, dog. Because if you making, because if you make an excuse, you know, it's basically not going to change anything. You mm-hmm. know, uh, so you just got to deal it. with you just got to deal with adversity. You, you just got to face adversity, basically, at this moment. You know, so, bro, I, I promise you, if you keep this mindset, bro, you're gonna be the highest paid receiver coming up, man. I promise you, your time gonna come, big dog. Okay. You know. Oh, definitely. Nah, I gotta say something about. Oh, go for it, man. Go for it. Cheetah, Look, like get it out there. People don't know about like just him being a, being a teammate before we met, mm-hmm. before we, you feel me, chopped it up before what's called anything. Like mm-hmm. so, like coming out, they always. I don't know why they. I never said it. I never what's called it coming out. They always want to be like, oh, who gonna be like Tyreek Hill? What's it called? But <laughs> so they always like try to make oh, who gonna be the next Tyreek Hill? And they always try to put that. That like label on like the next fast receiver, right? Right, coming in the draft, right? Right. So I'm at my homeboy draft party, and I think he he represented by somebody or was I don't know what it's called. And the, 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 the man was like, "Yeah, Cheetah don't like like the comparisons of what's called like right. like, like people being compared like what's it called." So I'm like, uh, like. Yeah, okay. Like, okay. Okay. I, never, I never said I wanted to be like, right, like, right. Maybe like right. what's it called? But Y'all it was, said it, not me. That's what I'm saying. So right. it was a whole different vibe from when he, like, from me meeting someone that's like part of the camp and then actually like meeting him. And he had totally broke. Because I'm thinking, I'm thinking like, oh, like, it's not like smoke or anything or anything. But I'm like, oh, well. You feel me? He don't want nobody to be. You thought he was gonna be a like, diva. Yeah, like you feel me? Oh, when no, I say, man. you can say it. When hey, I say, this is what we do. We say what we think is straightforward. It needed to be said, diva. man. Go ahead and say what you gotta say. When yeah. I say complete opposite, like I'm talking about real sense. Before he stepped in Miami, like what's it called? Like, and, and that's just how it's been. Every question, anything I feel me need, ask. Be like, why you did that? Any question I need, you feel me? He gonna, you feel me? That's like. And this is just a short time of us being together. So I feel like that's real and that's that's authentic just in itself. Like he ain't he can be, you feel me, like that. Like, you feel me? But he I'm talking about complete opposite of that. So that's real. Like Man, look, real. I said this on episode one, man. If you love the game the way that you say you love the game, you you're gonna do everything that it takes to elevate the game, right? Right. You know, so that's the way I look at it, bro. Like I'm human. It don't matter if I'm the highest paid player person in the NFL, bro. Like that, all all of that's cool. But guess what? All of that shit go out the window once you got to line up in between them lines, dog. For sure. You know what I'm saying? I still got to go into the meeting room mm-hmm. with those guys. Mm-hmm. I still I still got to practice with those guys. I still got to travel with those guys. All of that shit plays into a part of 
me being a great teammate, dog. So that's sure. the way I look at it, man. Nah, that's real though. Nah, it, I, that, that's that's real. And for real, that's man. how we gonna win the Super Bowl. That's the way I look at it. Cause I'm here to win, dog. I ain't, I ain't here to do nothing else. I, you you been to Alabama? Alabama <laughs> don't do nothing but win. Man. That's right. That's right. So, I got a question though. Like, I know both of y'all started playing football at an early age. Right. Y'all barely taller than me. Right. I ain't saying that to discredit anybody. You sound like Kevin Hart now. <laughs> nah, look, man. Look, he be like five one, ain't he? What he like five one five five three. I'm like five tough. nine, but like I knew I was too small, right? I'm not fast as y'all, and I don't like to be touched. When did y'all truly fall in love with the game? I know you said you played since you're about three or four. I know you've been playing since you was probably. I'm gonna let Jalen answer age. that one first. Uh, if I'm just being honest, I being younger, bro, I hated football. I hate it. I hate he was it raised by his mom. That's why. I, I hate it. Don't mom. touch my baby. No, I hate it getting <laughs> Don't tackled. Don't do it. I hate it getting tackled. Like when I say hate it getting tackled, they, that's why I used to run so fast. I hate it getting tackled. I fear of getting tackled. Man, scared of contact. Not getting work. I just like when I got to middle school. When I stopped being scared of contact, like I literally was not for none of the contact. Like at all when I was younger. When I got to middle school, when I finally like got over like. Not getting tackled like the collision, right. I promise you. Like, right, that, that shit crazy how, how, how like shit worked. But I think I finally fell in love with the game. Um, probably ninth grade, ninth grade, okay, ninth, ninth grade when it, I yeah. seen we had two like top 10 recruits in the class ahead of me that made it to the league, yeah, Mar- Marvin Wilson and, and Walker Little. No, yeah. I'm talking about. Schools up there every day, like for them, right. what's called. And I and my mom took me out of school in the West Coast. She took me to a private school on the other side of town. So I seen them schools come up there every day. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, I want that. Yeah, yeah. You want that attention? You want what <laughs> hey, they got? Right. I want that. Like that's when I was like, oh, that you can get, and then go. Cause I ain't. Yeah, that shit just like. Like it clicked. Click like it's okay. crazy. It it's it's crazy where football can take you, bro. Right. Like just take you off the playground and take you to uh University of Alabama to make it plays. It's crazy, bro, how football works, bro. It really is. That's insane. Like so it was a it wasn't necessarily the spotlight, it was just like not even just the attention, but the the sheer unknown of where they were going to have people want them to actually go to that school. And represent that school on the field and play at a higher level, right? It it was like all of that, and I always been always been like just naturally good at football, mm-hmm. like just naturally. Hey, good. there it is. It needed to be said. There yeah, it is. Here I, you go. I, I was trying to he was trying to hold it in. Feel, I was trying just, not was, to be arrogant. You feel me? I was always like naturally good. Like mm-hmm. what's it called? Like just all pure talent, God given talent. Just naturally good, and then it's like. All the extra stuff started coming out, right? training, and right. workouts, and seven on seven, and all this other stuff started training. So it's like getting into that build up of like trying to become a complete player. Like right. that was, I feel like that's when it was. Cause I've always been good and always had you know talents and stuff like that. But to be honest, that's when it really really clicked. Right, because a lot of guys got the talent, but a lot of guys don't got that determined mindset to go out each and every day and work out, you know, yeah. and go. And actually get that scholarship, you know, that Alabama is, is offering. So, yeah. you know, that what makes you different, dog. Your mindset different. That mindset is everything in football. I feel like mindset, confidence, you know, determination. I feel like all all three of them are similar. But man, if you got all three of them, man, the world is yours, bro. Because I tell people all the time, you can't cover me, dog. <laughs> I don't care go. if you put three people on me. You can't cover me. There you go. You cannot cover me. It really needed to be it. said. Who are you talking to, though? It's he a really lot of people. I'm talking to there. everyone in the whole entire world. Uh-oh. Mama, grandmas, DBs, all across the world. So he just said to the DBs, linebacker, safety, he'll, he'll score on your mama and your grandma. And your, grandma, and your auntie, And too. your auntie and your uncle, granddad, everybody, man. Everybody, we're crazy. So that transition, though, man, from Alabama to the NFL, how was it? Rookie season, you went crazy. Oh yeah, let's get into it. You went crazy. So like thousand yards and Quan Bowden. Yeah, let's go. So like it was all learning. I'm coming back off of injury. Um, come back off of injury, and I haven't really played a full 
game season in in a minute. Right. Mm-hmm. So I get to a training camp and my and it's like a whole different what's it called like I'm just got to get back into that that mode with soreness and what's it called come back off of injury and all the mm-hmm. other stuff. So that was I was just a learning experience the whole way like every game, every play, every practice, every everything was a learning experience and I ain't really I we had good OGs in in the room but I ain't have no one to really like sit down and just like Little brother, like this, is how we want you feel me? Or, right, like, right, um, right. Uh, yeah, I had to, I had to learn a lot, and I don't feel like it's like a vet, like duty to do that, but it should, it'll be helpful though. Like mm-hmm. to be honest, like so, so cool. hold on before we before you continue to go on. So, do you think Ryan Tanner, Ryan Tanner Hill, made made the correct? Well, do you think Ryan Tanner Hill said the right thing when he said he isn't finna tutor? Basically, Malik, how do you feel about that? Mm. Nah, cause I feel like you gotta give game. Like that's like that's like you. Like I'm asking you, man, why you do that right there? And you like, man, hey, leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, like man, leave me alone. Like you feel me? Like here competing. You want my secret? I, I, okay, yeah. okay, I get it, I get it. But go ahead though with the. Uh, you feel me? Like you gotta give game, and especially being like an older guy. Oh yeah, you gotta elevate the game, man. For sure. Feel me? Like I get it's a business competition, but like. Yeah, like, I feel like if you good, you good. Facts, like if you good, you good. Bet on you know? yourself, like bet on yourself, bro. I right. can tell you all the information. The only thing it's gonna do is just help the team be better, right. you know. Uh-huh. And if they trade me or cut me, it's thirty one more other teams out there who's looking for a fast motherfucker like me. So, right, it needed to be said, man. Don't be scared, man. Shoot there your you shot. So, so it's not a situation of, and I know you said Tyree, he, he pretty much mentor you if you got any questions for him. You know how he is by now. Right. Like you said earlier, people had painted him a certain way in your head, but once you actually got to meet him and sat down with him, sharing blockers next to him or whatever, just like that's not who this guy is, right? Man, ask me, ask me, like, DM me, like, what's your number? Like, you feel me? Like, so he reached out to you. Facts, like. Come on, man. Me? That's how I get up. Bro, you know that's where we from, about. bro. We from the South, bro. You feel like, me? Like, I ain't got time for this. I, like, we all human. Right. Huh? right. We all, we all going to pass away one day. You know, so, and and for us, our job is to play football. So we all want to win, man. Mm-hmm. You know, so no pride is involved in, with anything. I don't care if you was a five star. I don't care if you was a four star. I don't care if you was a no star, bro. Drop all that pride aside, bro. You know, because it re- it's really gonna benefit the team in the long run. You know, so uh, it's all good gonna, so far. Now we're gonna dig into the details. Y'all two young rich guys, <laughs> the women. The women, yeah. Oh, we how's love it, the women, man. How's, how's it going with the all women? shapes and all sizes? All when I say how's it going with the women, sizes. the difference <laughs> from high school to college to models. I ain't gonna lie. How is that bit? Like, is it is it is it crazy? Like, yeah, I was just talking to this other chick who looked like trash, and now it's just like, yo, right. I can have my pick, whoever I want to. How's that switch up? That's it. That's for both of y'all, man. Like, how I ain't gonna lie, bro. Up? Coming from KC to Miami, bro, it's like, bow. it's like, <laughs> it's like going from, bow, bow, it's like bow. going from motherfucking Kansas to Columbia. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. It's crazy over here, man. But you gotta know, hey, I, ain't, you gotta know how to manage it all, though. Right. You, you gotta be smart with it. You know, right. for me, I got four kids. Right. I, I, I feel like I done, I done lived the game. I done dealt the game. You know, I done been out there. I done, I done had my fair share of having fun, you know. So for me, man, I just I'm here to work. I'm here to have fun and just do my thing. And if an opportunity pops itself off, it pops itself off. Right. You know what I'm talking about? Because <laughs> well, I am the cheater, baby. That's so what we do. Miami slash Columbia. You done change this, right. change the name of the city. I got you. It's what crazy about you? down here. I ain't gonna lie, like for me. So I grew up in Houston, so it's it's action, it's motion out there already. Like right yeah, then. You go to Alabama and people don't even know. Like a lot of people from Alabama don't even be going to Alabama. Like it's a whole bunch of people from all over the country that get right. into the university. It be people from Cali there too. Everywhere, like Ooh. everywhere. So it's very diverse. Like right. so it's it's motion up there. Right. And it's all in a short sum because I mean UA almost the only thing that's in Tuscaloosa. It's outside Alberta and Westside and all them other but like right. UA. The, Right. You know I mean? 
So then you come to Miami, like, mm-hmm. and there's like you can go to the grocery store. That man on the hunt. You can be on. You can be on aisle five. He this said, man "Looking for coconuts hey. and coconuts." <laughs> hey, you don't even be looking. It's just there. Like you don't even got to be looking. It's just there. Like I'm. Yeah, you it's hunt. Crazy. It's crazy, bro. You can be in pit smart. He said, "Man, man. somebody walking in pit smart, walking a lizard." <laughs> And, and, and real deal, real deal. A stepper, she a step out. She there. a stallion. Great. So, Jenny. So, hold on. I got a question. Yeah. I'm gonna piggyback that. I'm gonna yeah. piggyback that. <laughs> piggyback. So, being in the field that we are in, mm-hmm. you know, we, we're in a different tax bracket. Obviously, mm-hmm. if you were to date a woman, does that woman need a job? Mm-hmm. Do she need a job? I would I would say so, and not for necessarily the the reason of like money reasoning. Right. I say to keep her like not so involved and have her own separate life outside of me. Feel me? Like her doing her own thing and not you feel me? I feel like if not just a woman, if anybody just don't got a job to stand at home, they just gonna complain about any and everything. That's right. gonna make. <laughs> Problems when it ain't no problem. Doom, doom, doom. Hashtag water can water this ass on. Because them <laughs> girls finna get you, dude. That, that's just how I feel, though. <laughs> it's not just so. Yo. Not, it's not even money purposes. Like, it's just you. So you can have your own vibe, your own emotion outside of me. Where if things don't go how we. You feel me? I feel it. I, I it's, it, it, it. It's not that much of you. Like, oh. You feel me? Oh, I, I get had it. my whole life. I get it. I get it. I get it, bro. So it's like one of them situations that if he do come home right. and, and his wife is like all excited he's home and she's been home all day. Right. He walks in. Hey, honey, how you doing? And she's like, oh, baby, I'm great. What you been doing all day? <laughs> Yo, I'm just right. been home all day. Right. And, and instead of he, he come home, ask his woman, hey, babe, how, was, how, how you doing? And she's like, babe, let me tell you right. about work, man. Right, all right, all right, crazy day. That's right. more of a you know vibe. what I'm saying? Like, I, I I get what he's saying, man. So, so you yeah. prefer to have the latter of my day was this way. You come on to a woman that can tell you about how her day was at work, right? And you can do the same thing. Exactly. Right. Right. Yeah, I mean, y'all NFL superstars, y'all just don't want a woman just sit home, Bro. chill, nah. Make sure the castle is straight. You just come home, go enjoy life. Bro, I'm gonna tell you like this, bro. I've learned a lot in the NFL, bro, and. We really about to get serious real quick, man. Sure. So, if I ask you, bro, how did your wife fall in love with you? Can't tell you that on here, boy. Cheat code. <laughs> <laughs> Cheat code. <laughs> Cheat code. Nah, for real, though. Cheat code. Nah, yeah, nah, Cheat nah, code. nah, for real. Get serious. Tell me the Cheat code. <laughs> nah, for real. I'm get... telling you the truth. <laughs> Cheat can, code. Can you tell me, can you tell me what Razor day? Ramon. Huh? Can... <laughs> <laughs> can you tell me what day your, can you tell me what day your wife fell in love with you? Exactly. I can't. I, I really believe. Or, or or can you tell me how did your woman fall in love you know with what? you? You know what? I don't want right? to answer this because you know she's going to get credit off this. And she's going to hold it over my head forever. But I, I, I really think like she fell in love with me off top like before we even started going together. Like dead serious. It definitely wasn't the looks, right? Come yeah. on, man. <laughs> I don't, I, I you know what? Strong. You know what? I'm out of my league with her. Mm-hmm. Ain't it going to trip? You seen my wife? Ain't it? She, she, bruh, I looked up. Right, I looked up with Here that you one. Go. You know what I mean, and and just we met in law school, so it was just like it was just a natural connection. Like she didn't even know me, bro. Right, Same and way. I'm gonna hold it over her head. She was all up on me. She was sitting between my legs. I only think she knew my last name at the time. But I'm saying though, how like how do you know it she was the actually conversation though? Exactly of you like actually caring about her, right? Correct. Exactly. You're right. So you're right. Like as a man, like me and J Dub, bro, like we want to actually hear about what our women. Or doing during the day, you know right. what I'm saying? We don't want to come home and just hear about you washing dishes or just you taking twenty poops in one day. I don't, I don't know shit. Right. What, what you been doing all day? What she been right. eating? She taking like poops. because like I actually feel like for a woman, right? Mm-hmm. And I may get counseled or I may get, hey, you're not saying the right thing about us. For a woman to actually fall in love with a man, a man actually has to care about, you know, her well being. You know, so mm-hmm. if a man come home and Let's just say, for instance, I'm dating this girl, and 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 I've been having a rough day, and I come home and I be like, "Hey, babe, how was your day? You tell me about your day." And I'm not even worried about my day. I'm mm-hmm. fo- I'm more focused on her. Right. Mm-hmm. She gonna be like, "Oh, 
that's him right there. Yeah. Like, I can see it in his eyes. He's had a hard day. Right. But reality, though, mm-hmm. like, he's worried about me. Right. You know what I'm saying? He's giving me that, 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 like, I can go to him and just tell him how I feel. Right. Even though he's having a hard day. So, I just feel like, for me, man, the situations I've been in, the entanglements I've been in, <laughs> how, how to get women very submissive. You just got to care about them, dog. Definitely. Now yeah. I got to tell his cheat code. Tell him your favorite book. Love languages. What it is? My fuck, my. <laughs> what what, what it, uh five love languages? Yeah, five love languages, man. So, have you ever read the five love languages? No, bro. I recommend you to read the five love languages, bro. Any man, any romantic man. Are you a romance man? Water just yeah. trying to water, bro. He, yeah. <laughs> water just trying to water. Any, I'm trying to tell you, man. Like. Read the book, take the survey of the five love languages, man, and, and you will really be amazed of how much you can learn about, you know, yourself and also about your partner, man. So if you fill in the chick, be like, hey, I'm going to send you this survey real quick, and you just take this test. So I know mine was physical touch. Right, I, I got to go. feel that booty. There you go. I got to Just feel take it. it a step further <laughs> off, you said, in the field that y'all are in, all right? And y'all have y'all pick of women. Right. Do you think that y'all can find a woman that truly love y'all for y'all? Or, bro, or will the money, the or day. will the money in the line? What you said the other day? I was forefront. talking about this the other day. Bro. Mm. Or will the money in the line like outshadow that? And they got to get through all of that to get through the layers of a Jalen Water or Tyreek Hill. How do they get through that? I ain't gonna lie. I feel like mm. the way you get through the dough is who you are. Like that's how you gonna get the conversation. How you mm. gonna get to you know that type of girl, the type of girl you want? But right. Ultimately, I feel like that's uh, Take that hashtag uh, again, boy. <laughs> I, 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 I feel like, <laughs> like after that, after that, mm-hmm. and what goes on after, like you got that conversation, how y'all vibe and how y'all get along and, and things like that. I feel like a, a girl can really like you for you, but I, I think initially, status. What is her intention? Status? Purely status. Status. Me personally, right? I got three sisters too, so I'm not, right. I got three older sisters, so you, you feel me? Like it's no like you feel me. You grew up in a house full of women, so mm-hmm. that's just how I think. Mm-hmm. Like I ask my sisters, would you date a date a dude that make less money? You that tell me no, mm. straight up. Like they'd be like, hell no, no. Mm. You feel me? Like right. That's just right. need to get them on a podcast. Right. That's yeah, how we are yeah, gonna get just, our views up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, that's just that's just how they how, how it is. Like. But you can ask the dude then what they gonna say. Yeah, they don't care. Exactly. They don't care for a woman. Exactly. But I ain't gonna lie though. Would a dude date a woman that makes more than him? I would. I would too. You would? would. What? I'm looking for a sugar mama. <laughs> but I'm saying though, you know how some dudes are though. That ego, that That's that true. pride that like set that, that settles in. I'm hey, looking man. for somebody to take care of me. Hey, I man. Was, look, stay I'm at home looking dad. for an old lady <laughs> with a will. <laughs> who on our way out? <laughs> who just needed a fun time? I get rolling that wheel. So, what, you. so, so what you saying? Oprah, went, Oprah went free. You going? What? What? You, what? Shady said, "Crazy work, crazy <laughs> work, <laughs> crazy work." Nah, man. But I'm, I'm definitely with Jalen, man. Like you really can. I, I feel like that's a big myth when, when you talk about women who are with athletes. Just, I, I this just me because I, I have yet to meet. A girl who's just been like, oh, put me on this, put me on that. I don't know, bro. I, I don't know. Just like in it's life, tough. like put her on something like yeah. help her it's out. Tough. It's yeah. tough. But I'm in Miami, though, so it's it, it's different, you know? I have yet to meet anybody like that who's like, oh, yeah, I'm here with the status, you know? Because I, cause I, to be honest, I don't go out to the clubs. I don't do none of that. Mm-hmm. But, like, I ain't going to lie. In Miami, everybody got money, though. That will feel the real lot. Everybody Word. got money in Miami. Like, you might think, bro, average Joe over there, he stacked up. He got 200 followers on Instagram. Like, you just. How much money? Like, <laughs> right, you feel right. me? Like, everybody got money. Like, right. Everybody. So, that's a hard concept for y'all to get past. Like, I know you said you never met anybody like that. Oh, for real. But your first year, did you encounter that? I know you just finished up your rookie year. Right. Did you? Did y'all both encounter that? Like, your first year is like, oh, man, I'm. I'm in the NFL. I'm finna go crazy. And the chicks are like, yo, I want this bag. I want that bag. Let me get this. How was that? 
I'm not like a big like sugar daddy type. There you go. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm really not for real. Like, mm. I ain't into like you finna get no Birkin bag. I ain't, and yeah, you feel me? I'm not on the future wave. I ain't gonna lie. Right, like, right, I'm not right, on the future right, wave. Like, right. to be honest, I'm more into let's go do something active. Let me really get a vibe off you more than all right. I feel like that's like not paying for time, like, but that's how you just keep them around type stuff. Like, I'm not real big. If I really buy you something. I feel like that's that's a big step. I ain't gonna lie. That's a huge. That's step. a big step. That's a huge step. That that means that basically we're dating. Fact. Right? And I don't want that. <laughs> not yet. Anyways. Not yet. Bro, I don't, not I don't, yet. Anyways. I don't want to date you, know you. Like you can't force me into that. Yeah, you feel me? I feel like that's a big step. And I I know if she think more of it than I do, mm-hmm. then it's gonna be a problem somewhere. So I'm like, well, why you buy me this? Right. right. I just feel like, and I, like I said, I may get counsel for this again. <laughs> Um, I just feel like this. If you, if I buy it for you and you can't buy it for yourself, then I, I'm not the one for you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Say like, that again, bro. Say that again. <laughs> that, a lot of people gonna miss that, mm. bro. Because they they want stuff that they not just women, just people in general. They want stuff mm. that they can't afford. And they want bro. other people to get it. Like, Say that again, bro. That, mm. If you real. want something and you want me to buy it, then I'm not the person for you. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not finna no. Like if you can't buy it for me. Then I'm not finna buy it for you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's real. If you want a five thousand five thousand dollar Birkin bag and want me to buy it, but you can't even buy me a what five thousand dollar ATV, then I'm not the person for you, dog. Right. Like, like if I'm gonna be spoiling you, you gotta be giving me something extra. Like I don't I don't know what I need, but I will think about it later. <laughs> so you go get yours up out of. I'm gonna get mine's up off you, baby. Right. Because some, some but some guys believe in. You feel me? Spoiling they what's I feel like that's your, your if old, my wife, yeah. my wife, she get everything she wants. Exactly. Everything right. she wants. Okay, then. You can have a whole bank. But you gotta account. build up to that. You, you gotta, gotta build, build up to that. You I gotta don't know about a whole bank account. You tripping on that one. Pre nub. Pre nub. Pre nub. That's what I'm talking about. That's yeah. what you getting. Yeah. yeah. I thought you said pre nub. Like somebody have a little nub. That's what I'm saying. So so I got two of the fastest guys in the NFL. Right. Two of the blazing. How does this season look with the penguin and the cheetah? I ain't gonna lie. On the field together. How yeah. does it look for look. defense? That's scary. I ain't gonna lie, like from the small glimpse of what like four or five of our little times on the field together, like it's been it's been nice. I didn't want to say too much, like put experts, yeah. but it's, it, it's 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 been nice and nice vibe. Like mm-hmm. Everybody, in, yeah. I'm just glad I came here, man. It's a nice you know, vibe. Miami is a great city. You know, playing with Tua, playing with J Dub. You know, also playing for Coach McDaniel's. It's gonna be a fun year, man. That's all I gotta say. It's gonna be a heck of a year. You know, and expect a lot of speed on the offensive side. You know, defense gonna be defense. They gonna do their thing, but mm-hmm. it's gonna be a crazy year this year for a lot of people in Miami. Especially, it's gonna be a lot of people taking their words back on what they said about Uno. So. What are you talking about? Tua. I, 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 no, no, no. I, who, 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 who taking their words back? Let's say it. Let's, reporters. Let, uh, report. Let's I, I mean, I really can't <laughs> I'll just point, name point and just say that, but I'm saying saying reporters, mm-hmm. analysts, Twitter, Twitter trolls, all those people are going to take their words back on what they say about Uno, man, and I'm just going to be sitting there eating my popcorn like, man. Going crazy. Yeah. Okay. Hey, look, this is what I'm going to do, though. I'm going to create me a fake KD account, hey. and then I'm going to troll people. What? <laughs> Me and J Dub gonna create right. <laughs> create Twitter fake Twitter accounts. It'd be so much I'd be one to say. Right, all right. How do yeah? How do y'all deal with that? Like, how do you deal with that? Like, you see it. I think it's y'all at practice, but you don't want to speak on it. Like you said, it, it, it remains to be seen. And y'all's gonna let y'all uh, on the field play show, bro. It's just like a horror movie, bro. It's just like suspense, bro. You gotta you gotta get that build up, you know. Just like all of the clips they've been releasing and stuff like that. You just can't show it all, right? You know? right. Like that's why I really believe they like showed that clip of Tua under throwing me, you know, mm. just to get people talking because they really know what Tua capable of for real. Like there's a plan yeah. behind everything, bro. Right. That's the way I look at it. I don't know. What's your name, Jalen? They got a plan. You trying to bury the man? I ain't gonna lie. That boy looks scared right now. You scared? That boy looks scared right now. Oh, wait, look. Answer this, and you ain't got to give us everything. Tua last year, going into this year, how does he look? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat. What's call it, bro? 
that's been it's been him. Like he been that guy since Alabama. Since it, since Alabama, like he's been that guy. He's been the same guy. He's gonna come in consistent, accurate. He's gonna make the throws he's supposed to throw. And he's gonna show out, be a great leader. He's gonna be all that. Like so, it's no real like big. I'm not seeing no big like like when the plays he be making in practice. When yeah, like, so it's nothing new. It's like bro, I seen bro. I've been seen like bro. duh. I've seen, but it's like I'm gonna be happier when everybody else get to see it. Oh man. When everybody else get to see what I already know, who's been like? So I'm just I'm just excited for for that for it. Not even for me, but for him. Like for him, bro. Like you, people don't be understanding, bro. Sometimes, bro. Like I just like to see other people happy, bro. Right. Oh, I swear, I ain't nothing like seeing somebody else happy, bro. Especially yeah. like he good. Man, dude. he's a good dude too, though. Like one of the nicest people you'll meet. Right. Like for real. So do you think it's a? I want to say I don't believe in conspiracies, but do you think it's just an attempt to compare him to the poster child quarterback of the NFL to try to lower, not necessarily lower his stock, but just try to put him in a position to say he can't equate to being that level or that quality or caliber of quarterback? Man, no, nah, I believe this or not, man. You know in the NFL they only give you like two to three years to be a successful mm-hmm. quarterback, especially if you're a first-round draft pick. And if you if you don't succeed after those years, then it's kick rocks, man. So basically they don't put two into that. You know, I feel like so. For no reason. It's, it's basically his last year, man, just to show people what, what he got. Not a knock on anybody. We all know Mahomes inherited a crazy team, right? Oh, yeah. Do you think Tua is getting that crazy team to where y'all can go into, go into the, the the season and really just dominate like you did when y'all with the Chiefs? I mean, y'all got crazy caliber players. Oh, that 2019 offense with the Chiefs was stupid, bro. Right. right. But I – but – when I go out to practice each and every day, like I say, bro, I see the same exact team, bro. I swear, as, as far as explosive, as far as dynamic, bro, we have the same weapons, bro. And maybe even more, bro. Like, our running back is, what, our running back run a 4-2? And, that's, and that's crazy. This is whole track meet back there, man. So, man, when you add Mike McDaniels into you know, calling plays. You know, I know Andy Reid is a great man, but when you add Mikey D, man, it's crazy. The way he he dials up plays and his and his play call calling timing. Mm-hmm. That's like, I don't, I don't even know what to say, bro. It's just crazy, bro. Like, I'm I'm just I'm just crazy. I'm just very excited and ready, man. Just let me sit on the sideline and just look at it all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh, ain't no way you could just sit on thirty the million sideline. a year just sit on the sideline. I'll tell man, you. You have a fit. You got to be on that field. He live on that field, man. That's dope. All right. So again, man, the penguin. So nil, nil deals. Crazy. You missed it by one season. Crazy. You came out right. Not even right in time. Cause you probably left a lot of money on the board while you was in college. Crazy. All right. How do you feel about it, man? Just knowing that you could have still been in college and capitalized off of it, and you go to the NFL. Granted, you getting paid. But now the college students that are still there, the players, teammates that you left behind, now they're getting paid. How do, how do you feel about it? What do you think about that? Is it good? I, I I think it's good, me personally. It's a lot of people with, you know, bad situations coming out mm-hmm. of high school. I feel like if they got that extra, you know, money to, you know, take care, you know, give his mom a little breathing room or give the people a little breathing room. Some people may have, like, kids coming out of mm-hmm. high school. You feel me? So I think it's – I think it's lovely for for the boys to to you know get paid off their image and likeness and, and things like that. I I think it's fun. I I know some people say it's taken away from you know football and programs and, and things like that. But me personally, I think it's a it's a great it's a idea. Thing. I think I think it's out of control right now. I think like further down the um further down the road, it's gonna be a lot more. Like rules to how you go. About I will say this. Like I will say this to make it fair for every player. I think there there needs to be a cap, though. Right. You know because those guys are still in college. Right. You know I think there needs to be a cap. You know because there's no way a guy should be making like two M's in college. You know living a different lifestyle than motherfucking. Let's say the quarterback who who probably isn't the best player on the team. Right. Is living a better lifestyle than a DB who's going number one overall. Right. They shouldn't. They shouldn't. That should be a cap. Like, hey, 
You guys can get paid, but you guys can get like 500K. That's the way I look at it, bro. It'd be a different lifestyle for, you know, regular, I mean, athletes in college from regular students, though. Right. Because them, them people don't be on really scholarship. They are paid in full, so they already on different mindset. Yeah, they be hating, is. too. <laughs> they already ready different mindset as is, like for real, for real. So do you think it? it, it I guess what I'm hearing is that it pose, it could potentially pose a problem because I mean you, you're in college, you know, nothing is not saying that everybody, every college athlete is immature, but you got a lot of people who just gonna blow that money on crazy stuff, put themselves in situations. I mean, they can be targeted by people because they don't know how to move. When you're still in college, you're still a teenager in most times. Right, right. The way I look at yeah. it is, bro. You can. Um. I don't know. I watched the NFL draft, you know, right? And I seen a lot of guys get drafted. Like, I seen a lot of guys who didn't show a lot of emotion, man. Mm -hmm. A lot of guys just, hey, Joe Blow got drafted number three overall or number four overall. And they just getting up, just walking on the stage like, hey, I already, I'm already paid, so I'm right, good. Right. <laughs> I'm already paid, so I'm good. Right. You know, right. versus the years prior, you know, you see guys crying. <laughs> For real, though. They already said, I already changed my my folks' life. I'm getting two million I'm, in college. I'm getting two million Good. in college, man. Which, which begs another question, man. What happened on the night you got drafted? Because I because the video when you got I'm drafted, talking about they were you, you seen the me. video, right? When when he got drafted, this dude got up, didn't shake nobody's hand, and just walked they on the stage. They were killing me. Video was crazy. They were killing me through the press. Everybody was killing me, like man. The video is crazy, right? He just got. I was up. like, wow, she can go. That fast, like for real. Nah, he was just locked in. That's like, that mindset I was telling y'all about. What people yeah. fail, what people, <laughs> what people fail to realize, is, bro, the draft is a production. Exactly, like, it's, a, it's a production. It's like a show. Mm -hmm. Feel me? So we got to be like on time, and it's what's it called. And sometimes, like the team kind of got an idea of who they're gonna pick if based off who available. What's it called? So they kind of right. already got there. So you. I got the call. They've been called you like twenty minutes prior, huh? I got the call like soon as, um, soon as the the pick in front of me, um, um, Uno, um, got picked before me. I got the call when he was. I don't think he hit the stage yet, and he got the call. Right, and I got the call. So I already then celebrated. My family screaming. What's called? I didn't hug everybody. I went to the other section. My um. Teammate Pat in the other section next to mine. I'm over there with his family. We hugging. What's it called? So the people are like, hey, sit down. Like, sit down. We want to capture when when they, your name pop up on the screen. Like, what's it called? It was like a dry spot for like ten minutes. Right. Like right. dry spot. Like for ten minutes. I kid you not. Like right. there's there's no like I, no joke. Dry spot for about ten minutes. Right. Want to pull the clip up and show Julius because right. he he's showing no emotion right now. Like I'm acting like Jalen. Yeah. <laughs> so when it's time to, the when it's time to, what's it called? Then I had my shades on too, like, cause I was like, I, mean, I ain't about to cry. Like, I know I ain't about to cry. Like, you feel me? That's crazy. So I, I had my shades on. So it re it looked bad, but it it, re it really wasn't like you were just locked in. It I was, was like, man, you ready. had already. It's ready to. You're right. It's the first thing that pops up, yeah. bro. Craziest thing ever. I this dude literally that. just got up and then just walked away. Just like he was a Sims character or something. I was like, yo, whoa. Wait, bro, you look blow. You had a little smirk. You had a that little smirk. You got somebody up, bro. Right. That was oh, oh yeah, yeah. They just caught you at a bad angle. Like, Shh, look, explaining that to probably millions of people, they like, look, we not hearing that. Yeah, he bro, you look blow. That man got no liquor store shades. <laughs> Nah, bro. <laughs> nah, nah, you definitely, you definitely hey, had. He hey. definitely had this look like, all right, like about time. Like I, we, we already know where I'm going, but like, why y'all took so long? So was it a production breakdown? It was the production, the actual production, because you got to be, you got to wait till the, the the person ahead of you go on stage, he interview and things like that. Mm -hmm. But the team sometimes will call you way before, you know and. and I mean, you just be in there waiting for your name to pop up on the screen. So you just literally in there just waiting, like wow, for your yeah, name to pop up. You know? Already celebrated. Oh, okay. I'm mm -hmm. talking about we we had enough time to celebrate, probably eat a little bit, and, and, and really just sit there for real. That's crazy, man. For real, for real. Dope. Dope. that is crazy. Final question: Um, what do you see yourself in probably about? I know you plan to play on probably about ten years, man. So what do you see yourself? After football, you know, 
whether that's being an entrepreneur, CEO of a company, football coach, truck driver like myself, <laughs> looking good like Buckwheat, you know? Yeah. Uh, me, right now, I ain't going to lie. Like, for one, I want to go back and, and get my get my degree. Nice. That's going to be key. I know my mom going to kill me if I don't. So, I, it's really not even up to me. For real, for real. This man going to have 40. This man going to have $100 million in the bank. Still That's getting cool. killed by his mom. Getting skilled, still yeah. getting scolded. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. But for me, after after you know all said done, I think ownership. Um, I feel like that's key in anything. So I might not have like a complete idea of what I really want to do, but I know some type of ownership or some type of you know state or something that I can say that's mine. You feel me? And I got a lot of say in in, in what I do and, and how things go. I can say that's mine. It's, it's kind of the route that I'm going to go with it, for real. That's real. I mean, for me, it's simple. I go hard in the paint, so. <laughs> <laughs> I go hard every day, my boy. Hey, Viagra, if you're watching this. Sponsor my dog. Sponsor my dog. Yo. The cheetah, man. This man is crazy. Jalen Waddle, man, the penguin. Thank you so much for joining us, appreciate man. It was a, this was by far the best episode that we have ever shot, man. Thank you so much. Julius, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, man. The thank co-host. You. Thank you. One of the best co-hosts in the world. I'm trying, man. I'm trying to follow your lead, man. I'm trying to keep hey. up with you, brother. Jalen, if you could, please tell us the best podcast in the world, if you could. Hey, man, you feel me? You already know. It needs to be said. Tap hey. in. It needed to be said. T- tap in. Guys, we will see you next time. Guys, let us know who we should have on the show in the comment section, please. It can be anybody. It can be your favorite politician. Your favorite athlete, your favorite whoever, whatever the case may be, attorney, whatever, astronaut, whatever. Let us know. We out here. Out here. You feel what I'm saying? Dang. It needed to be said. Cheat out. Hey. Okay, let it be known I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone This ain't a hug, this ain't a phone Grind never stopping, I'm keeping it cold Unlocking the door with the hoe